Before installation, examine condition of all components of the structure. Pay special attention to any cracks in the concrete components or excessive roughness of the surfaces to be joined. Cracks and rough joint surfaces will prevent good contact of the joint surfaces and will fail the vacuum test. If needed, surface should be leveled using a quick set, non-shrink grout to ensure a smooth and level surface. Examine the condition of the rubber infrariser adjustment riser. The surface of the adjustment riser should be smooth, flat, and free from any pore spots that could cause an air lockage. Clean the surfaces of the concrete components and cast iron frame to be joined from any dust, loose material, grease, oil, or rust. Clean both flat surfaces of the riser from dust using toluene or paint thinner. Apply a continuous strip of polyurethane sealant, 5 sixteenths of an inch to 3 eighths of an inch on the surface of the riser, one half inch larger than the inside diameter. Assure that sealant is between bolt holes and the inside diameter of the ring. Apply a second continuous strip of sealant one inch smaller than the outside diameter of the riser. Assure that sealant is between bolt holes and outside diameter of the ring. Place the infrariser adjustment riser sealant side down in position over the concrete surface. Line up any bolt holes if applicable. Repeat steps for applying strips of polyurethane sealant to the top side of the riser using the inside diameter and outside diameter of the frame flange as your starting point. It is important that the beads stay inside of the frame flange. Center the manhole frame or catch basin unit over the structure. Line up bolt holes if applicable. Examine that all components, concrete units, infrariser adjustment riser, iron frame are in firm contact. Replace the cover and apply additional weight on top of the structure if necessary. Allow 48 hour curing period before performing a vacuum test. Vacuum test per required specifications. Manholes are vacuum tested to ASTM C-1244.